Most people think of history as the, the story of humanity, the story of the past. For historians, history is an inquiry. It's an inquiry or investigation into the past. Um, and we ask all kinds of questions about the past. We ask questions about how humans have interacted with each other, how they interact with their environment. There are also specialized questions about women's history, social history, religious history, economic history, the list can go on and on. Um, and to make this inquiry, we use sources, mostly written sources, um, but we also use visual sources, things like television, film, art. We use material sources, artifacts, um, artwork. And in some cases, if you're doing a more modern topic, you can use oral histories and interviews. So in some ways, history is our best attempt to understand the past based on the sources that are available to us. Um, it's, it's a really fun and fascinating way to try and understand the world that we live in. So one of the most common questions that history majors often get is, what are you going to do with that? Um, but contrary to popular belief, there are a broad number of careers that history majors end up finding meaningful employment in. Um, studies show that history majors find employment in a broad spectrum. Um, everything from business, including marketing and communications, to education and teaching fields. Um, history majors find jobs in museums and libraries. Uh, law is another popular career for history majors. Um, as well as nonprofit organizations and government. So history really opens up a lot of career doors uh, that people don't necessarily know are there. And we have a great internship coordinator in our department uh, who helps you as a student find opportunities to develop those career paths. Part of the reason why history majors are able to find themselves in a number of career paths and opportunities is that you develop skills as a history major that are applicable in a number of contexts. Um, you develop important critical and analytical thinking skills, the ability to analyze complex questions, uh, the ability to find information. You develop really great research skills. Um, you also learn how to deal with uncertainties. Uh, history is dependent on the sources that we have available to us, and you learn how to read and analyze information, uh, how to handle these complex problems, how to make sense of disparate and contradictory information, and those kinds of skills are invaluable um, as a businessman, <laughs> as a lawyer, as, as in many, many professions. Um, you also develop a great passion for the past and a better understanding of the world that we live in today, which again are skills that I think are applicable in a lot of scenarios. History is a discipline that's related to a lot of other disciplines. Uh, we have two sister majors, family history and history and social science teaching. Uh, the difference between history and those two majors is that as a history major you'll focus specifically on learning and, and reading and writing history. Um, as family history and social science teaching you'll learn skills more geared towards family history research and education. Um, history is also related closely to social sciences and humanities. So in some senses I like to think that as a history major you get to employ a little bit of everything. You do a little bit of geography, a little bit of political science, some sociology, anthropology. Historians are constantly drawing on those other disciplines in our own work. Um, so we get to kind of do a little bit of everything um, and you get to ha have the opportunity to take courses across a broad spectrum of time and across the whole world. And I don't know of any other majors where you get to study as many different times and places as you do as a history major. There's a lot of reasons you should select a history major. Um, with the history major at BYU, you get clear requirements, you learn practical skills, um, and you get to take really fun and compelling courses. You also get a good student to teacher ratio. Um, in our department, we have 44 amazing faculty um, every student who is a major in our department is assigned a mentor on the faculty, so you get one-on-one -on -one faculty mentoring. Uh, we have the great internship coordinator who helps us out. 
But beyond all of that, you should be a history major if you love history. Passion for understanding humanity and God's children is, I think, the thing that drives every single historian. And so if you have a love for that, if you're fascinated in the past, be a history major.